hatched into captivity at the Queensland Museum for the World Science Festival, ready to be released into the wild. In front of eager eyes, these loggerhead turtles are breaking their way into the world for the first time. Because it's usually something people don't see, it uh, usually happens deep beneath the sand in the nest chamber. It's been amazing, yeah, it's fantastic. I liked all of the turtles and all the jellyfish. 80 eggs were taken from near the Bundaberg coastline in January and carefully monitored to hatch in time for the festival. If we incubate these eggs at 29.9 degrees, they'll hatch after a 55 day period. After hatching, they'll be kept at sea life on the Sunshine Coast and fitted with satellite tracking devices. The turtles will be released 20 kilometres off Mooloolaba and travel as far as Chile for up to 15 years but only one in 10,000 will make it back to Queensland to breed as an adult. And there's a significant loss of loggerheads off the coasts of Chile and Peru. Plastic bags are a huge threat to turtle populations. They look incredibly similar to jellyfish. They look at it, they think, oh, it's a jellyfish, I can eat that. This display highlights just how similar the two look. Unfortunately, they don't discriminate, so they feed on a lot of the floating plastic debris that's out there. It's hoped the hatchery will bring much needed awareness to the loggerhead turtles, now an endangered species. I'll be going plastic bag free when I get home. A small change to make a big difference. Karavai Piggott, QUT News.